What's going on guys? So me and Lydia are gonna do a couples Q&A. Um, I posted a poll on, or a question thing on my Instagram story and we got a few responses. I think she posted one and got a few responses as well. So we're gonna drink this wine. This is from Chada, and we're gonna answer some questions for you guys. So stay tuned and hear our answers. That's the first one. <laughs> okay, so for the first one. Drew Cutchfield. Okay, he asked, where do you see yourselves as a couple in the next three to five years? Go ahead. Um, there's a few ways we can answer that. For how you see us as a couple, I would say location-wise, we have an idea of where we would like to be. As I said in my last video, um, Mankato isn't where we want to end up, but it's doing its job for now, so we're not really in a super big rush to get out of here. Um, also, so that's like location, and then um, I would say us as a couple, uh, we'll see. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll see about that, and we'll see... Um, I would have imagined by in the next three to five years, we'd at least be engaged. Let's hope. Yeah, let's hope. <laughs> oh, what are you trying to say? <laughs> what do you say? Um, I would say the same thing pretty much. Like location, we want to be more south. Um, like we like living up here. We like the bigger city because at Northwest, we it was like 11,000 um, people. Um, but we're not going to school right now, so hopefully, I mean, hopefully in the next three to five years we finish our degrees. Um, I would say uh, hopefully being engaged, at least engaged <laughs> oh, really? by then. He seems to be in no big rush, but I mean, whatever you want to do, it's fine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, um, the next question comes from Ariel. Princess Abby. Uh, Princess Abby. <laughs> um, what do you love most about each other? I'll let you go first since I love you. I think his like personality and like the way he like cares for me and Xander. Um, and just like I mean there's a lot. His motivation, <laughs> like he wants to be able to take care of us and like we don't have to worry about anything. Um, I know when I was on bed rest, like he felt the need cause I couldn't work. He felt the need to, um, work two jobs, work all the time. So I didn't have to worry about like paying rent. Um, he could just pay for it all, which was thoughtful and nice. Um, and he makes me laugh all the time. So I like that a lot about him. What do I love about Lydia? Hmm. Let's see where to start. <laughs> First of all, she's beautiful. Thanks. I'm gonna get some brownie points for this one. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> mm, her laugh, like that right there. Stop. She always laughs at my jokes, even if they're not funny. <laughs> We've had a few glasses of wine, <laughs> you can't tell. Is it margarita? Mm, let's see, what else? Sorry. Mm, she's driven when it comes to some things. <laughs> Um, like I think, what? uh, like, what? like, um, <laughs> taking care of Xander and, like, being, like, the best mom that you can be, being, like, the best spouse to me that you can be, um, you work hard. I would sometimes. say, <laughs> I would say it's nice because she is, sometimes I'm go, 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 and vice versa, but I think that we both compliment each other well in that sometimes like she just wants to stay home and sometimes I just want to stay home. So we end up just like balancing really well where if we were always go, 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 we'd be super tired or, and she sleeps in all the time. I love that because I get to sleep in <laughs> <laughs> and she's not waking me up. Um, okay. Go ahead. Um, another thing I love about him is... Oh, keep going. <laughs> she's trying um, to get some funny points too. He makes me save my money. Because, or he's a saver. I try. He's a saver. I'm a spender. Um, so that's very helpful because I would just spend all my money if I could. I love shopping. Just going to Target. 
I love that she always keeps her nails done. Oh, even though you want me to stop. Because to save money. Yeah. <laughs> so that means I'm going to keep going. Um, next question comes from my mom. The question is, who is more stubborn? Oh, Lord. I have a clean cut answer. Is it me? <laughs> I would think we're like both stubborn in different ways. I was going to say, it depends on what. Yeah. Like when it comes to Xander, I feel like certain things she's more stubborn like get letting him try foods and it's more of just like because our p pe- he was two months early so his pediatrician is always saying like he's two months behind what he is so you need to be mindful of that for like feeding trying new foods and so i'm like cautious of that just because he doesn't have any teeth yet he's getting <laughs> hold on one. don't make it seem like i'm not cautious. i know i but like you just want to give him anything and everything <laughs> So. Um, Lydia is more stubborn when it comes to like relationship arguments. I don't well, no, like I don't know what you're talking about. Like how? Like any arguments that we have, you're always stubborn. You always are stuck in your way. You always want right. me to, exactly. For sure. Intermission. Too. What? Intermission. <laughs> what? Are we gonna do the whole shot? I don't think I'll be able to. Okay, this is a problem. Lydia cannot take a full shot. This is it's a, so good though. Peppermint rum chata. Take the whole thing. Oh my god, I'm gonna All die. All at once, ready? I'm literally gonna die. You still have to take the whole thing. Ooh! <sighs> I'm like halfway. The next question comes from Cherner16. Shout out to Cherner. Um, the question is when's the next baby? Answer first. I answered it last time. Well, I told him, okay, so it kind of changes every day. (laughs) Every day. Because, like, I go back and forth from wanting another baby because before we had Xander when I was pregnant, we would say that we wanted kids close together. No, I would say that was before you were pregnant. Before we found out I was pregnant so young. Yeah. Um... We did want kids close because him and his brothers are each a year apart, so he liked having that, um, and they are really close together, like, relationship-wise, um, and so I think that was, like, st- that's still kind of in the back of my head. I want kids semi-close together just because even if we have more kids, like, in the future, I don't want, like, Xander to be, like, seven years apart from the next kid. Um, but that, with that being said, we both need to be, like, in a stable place, money-wise, like, emotionally, school-wise, we need, I feel like we need to both finish school first, um, and I think we need to, like, figure out where we're gonna live first, because we're not planning on staying here. I would say for me, um, like she said, I... I wanted kids all back to back to back, but I also didn't think I was going to be having a kid at 21. So now that we're here and Xander is basically 11 months, about to be a year old, um, I think that it would be in our best interest to wait like four to five years before we even think about having another kid. Four to five years? Just because, like she said, financially, like um, our NICU bill was not pretty and I wouldn't obviously like every kid's not gonna go to the NICU every kid's not gonna come early but (laughs) (laughs) we'll just give you a little hint of how big the NICU bill was he was in there for two weeks and a day right two weeks and a day whatever around there they weighed him every single day and when we got the bill back it said to weigh him, just to put him on the scale and take him off, nine hundred dollars each day, every single day that he was in there. He was in there for fifteen or sixteen days. Our right, last question <laughs> from my uh, um, round of questions, I guess you could say, is from Al Versatile King. <laughs> is what y'all on? We not on shit, man. We just sitting here, about to finish this bottle <laughs> of wine. My when did we, we open this? Like. An hour ago. Not even. Whap these shots. Lydia didn't finish hers though. And we just chilling. Okay. 
Princess Abby, aka Ariel, um, asked me this one. How did you two come up with Xander's name? This is a good one. It is a very good, good one. Cause what? So, so we didn't have a name for him until like I was discharged from the hospital. So two days late. Yeah, so like he was nameless for two days. Um, and like we, w we have been, or we were looking at names, thinking of names literally all throughout the pregnancy, obviously, until we found out he's a boy. We were like going back to the girl and boy names. Um, but I had a like bunch of names that I liked, mostly like gender neutral, just because I like those names. Um, Xander was one of them. I loved Avery as a first name. I loved Emerson. Um, as a first name and he was just like completely different from mine um I think I have a the chart still on my thing let me look um but we obviously had to decide so we were going through um let's see yeah so we I made a chart in my notes on my phone it'll be right here <laughs> I don't know. You don't have to. I can just post it on there. Oh. And so, as you can see, they were all very different. I don't know why I loved A names, but I did. I loved okay. Aiden for a first name. Um, yeah, look at that. Xander's not even in the top. Online. Uh, so, and then the bottom ones are, like, the ones we liked. All, like, we both liked. Anyways, so... He didn't like Xander at first. The first time I said Xander was like before, he's like, no, that's, I don't like it. And then I think your brother's Isaiah was like, yeah, that's a cool name. Like whatever, he takes credit for it, but I came up with it first. And then after he said he liked it, he's like, oh yeah, I guess I like <laughs> that's it. That's how he said it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> so that's how we came up with it and then Avery because I was so paranoid that I was like I'm not gonna like I don't want to pick a name and then not like it in like 10 years or whatever or if it's like they need like they're gonna get made fun of in school or like you know just <laughs> things like that I would say I was way more decisive in the name thing Lydia was uh, I don't know I like this one I don't know I kind of like this one I don't it was know, because I... I was dead set on the ones I liked I didn't want to give up the ones and I liked. same with me and I would say which as one... you can see I got the ones I liked <laughs> when we got to Rochester um it was the uh, what third time we were in the hospital mm -mm. yeah huh fifth. okay sorry it was the fifth time we were in the hospital and I. I just went on the whiteboard and wrote a bunch of names. And I was trying to get her to pick out a name, and she would not pick out a name to save her life. So he just ended up being named Boy Pitchford. <laughs> if we would have left the hospital with him, his boy, his name would have, on his birth certificate would have been Boy Pitchford. But and we would have had to like pay to, get to change changed. his birth so certificate. We, the second day, I was like on her. Uh, the first day even, I was on her. We need to find a name. We need to pick a well, name now. Well, because we were in the hospital like four or five days before he was born. And so even then, we're like, we knew he was coming this time. So we were like, okay, we need to decide a name. And so four or five days before he was born, we were thinking of names or like trying to pick one. And then after, we still... It's hella difficult. Think about right now, you're about to name somebody for the rest of their life. Yeah. And you don't want them to get made fun <laughs> because you picked a fucked up name. Cass... Um, asked us three questions. What's her IG? At so Cassidy Robbins. Um, one of her questions was, when are you giving us another baby to spoil? We kind of already answered that. Hopefully a little quicker than four to five years. But you Four know. to five years. Her next question was, how do y'all balance work sa Sander. <laughs> Xander and time for each other? <laughs> That's really hard, actually. So...